Oh. Oh, wow. All right, guys, get a drink of water. And get right at it. Matt Machenko, what's up? What's happening, Rob? Awesome, man. How's Virginia? Good? Yep, just holding down the north side of town. Yeah. Hey, I, I heard that Virginia's getting the peak of this thing in, in um, August. Is that true? Getting the what? The peak, the high point of this corona thing? No, we were, t we were told uh, probably mid-May. I'm here, I'm talking to college coaches, and they're thinking because of that stat that they may be pushed to the spring because the NCAA is not going to allow certain sections to go on and other sections not. So they think in the spring, that's, what's, that's where we're going, leading to. Oh, we haven't heard that. We yeah. get updates from the CDC all the time. Yeah. So who knows, man? Department of Health. Yeah. So, yeah. Somebody knows. Not us. Not us, man. All right. I'm going to talk one back power, one back. I will start in 30 seconds. No timeouts and go right through. Hmm. Hello, Robbie Davis. Who's this? Coach Diaginio. Hey, Hello. Coach. How you doing? <laughs> okay, Rob. Hey. I'll catch you this time. I miss you. Yeah. So I want to hear about your run game. Let's show me something good. Um, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of blooper plays if you want to see that. So uh, I don't like to see anything. Anything other than this lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> good to see you, Coach. I just talked to Larry uh, uh, two hours ago. How's he doing? Great. All right, right. good. I'm glad to hear that, Rob. He's always talking about you guys. He misses you guys. And I'll call you, I'll call you one of these times. Oh, Sounds you know, good. I don't think you're going anywhere right now, right? Nowhere, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get going. Let me move this up. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Again, I'm Rob Davis, Barnica High School head football coach for the last 18 years. Uh, I've also been the offensive coordinator in our program during that course. Um, we've been very lucky that we've had consistency in our program and we've been running a pro, uh, a philosophy offensively and we kind of kept it intact for all the years and adding and tweaking, but the basic, basically the, the schemes that we do, and I'm going to be showing you of them on here. It's from different classes from 2006 to 18. Um, and this isn't college clips. This is our high school program running these schemes and you know it's at a high school level with that stuff we all get smarter when we coach so back in the day man we did some stupid things and we fixed things one of my plays that that or schemes that we had problems running full flow at people and we're an rpo team we're an rpo when we ran full flow we had to be able to have an answer to still run these schemes with different variations so we came up with a bend concept. A bend concept means our tailback's not doing his normal steps on his um, normal run game, power, zone. We just go bend. So on bend, we have our tailback getting the football on the hip of the center opposite, and he bends it the other way. And that's all, that's all it is, uh, what we do. So if our quarterback's under center, we want our tailback seven yards, maybe even eight yards, if that, because we are going to run the football from one side and move it back to the other. So what we do is um, we run zone, inside zone, and one back power. We also will run the fullback on the same side and still run our traditional power and also our counter tray off it too. So if you could think that whatever play we call, the play side is aggressively blocking the way it's told. The back side is um, accounting for the back side blocks you know, on our bend stuff. So let me just show you. We're, we're gonna, I'm going to teach you now the t our, our zone play, and I'll show you some cut-ups, and then our one-back power 
uh, many, many cut-ups with that, and then we're going to run same side with the full back and all that. So I'm going to do it in, in sections. So our one back is inside zone play. We call it Ohio. Ohio is a state. Um, and if we want to go to the right, we go hot. If we want to run to the left, we go cold. So in our no huddle offense, we could just yell, Ohio hot, Ohio cold, and that's it. Now, if I want to add a tag and tell the tailback and quarterback that you're exchanging now from the other side, we yell out book. Book means bend. I don't yell out bend because after a while, teams will know, hey, he's going to bend it on the other way. So what we do is I yell out bend, bend uh, book, book, Ohio book hot. I just emphasize the book aspect because we don't we're doing a lot but we do it enough. So we'll go Ohio book hot. And all it's telling now on book is you go, you're going to get the ball opposite the side you're going to be running the football. So our tailback is going to open step, clear the midline, and attack the center's ass from the other side. The quarterback, if he's under center, is going to open up the midline and go one, two, three, and give him the football opposite the side we're going, and he's going to bend it back to the other side. And why do we do that? It's because the defense, these linebackers, we want to get them stepping the wrong way. So our blocks and our angles are, are a little different. And you'll see what we're talking about in some of the clips. Now, when we have a fullback and we go book, it's real simple. He blocks the defensive end. So to the backside, he's blocking the DN, and there's your traditional split zone. Okay? Now, from here, when he gets the football, for a second, it looks like we're running power to the opposite side with the fullback, tailback, getting the ball to the left, and then we bend it the other way. Now, on book, um, on, on our zone book, we are going to make sure that the tackle has the B-gap. He's protecting B-gap when we say our book play. So he's protecting the B-gap. Our guard climbs to the next level, and all we're doing is setting up or blocking for a tailback. And we want our tailback to get the second level, which you're going to see that he gets pretty consistently in our schemes. So when we go book or bench, because we call, excuse me, book or uh, bend, that means the tailback and quarterback are going to give the football opposite to the side at, at the a, a tight to the center's ass, and then so he can bend it back, and then he gets into his run scheme, whatever it is. So example. If we're running zone, he's pressing, going there. If we run power and there's a fullback here, he's going to do his normal course once he gets the football. We, I can't get running backs to go slow. So what we do is we tell him to go fast in a different direction so he's got momentum going the other way. And that's how we teach it. It's real simple. So let's go over to schemes. Um, I have three, three schemes here. Right here. Okay, this was a bit how we, we filmed it. But it's, <laughs> he's getting the ball from the right. He's bending it to the left. This is our inside zone, and that's that. We're not pulling any guards right there. Now, we RPO. We RPO our stuff, too, meaning that while we're doing this, we're going to have a quick screen to the outside. He's going to run his ISO, and we can pre-snap, throw the football, or kick back and throw here while we're doing all our run game. Because any run game in a box, we have an RPO to the perimeter, which means that we can throw the football. Everybody's thinking they're getting a football, all our skill kids. All right, now we're going to run uh, our inside zone again, and we're not doing it with a fullback now. We're doing it at a spread. All right, we're doing it at a spread. Actually, it's tight. Tight ends here. So we're going to fake like he's getting the ball to the left, and he's going to bend it to the right. We're running our inside zone to the right side. So all we're calling is ISO book, uh, excuse me, Ohio book hot, Ohio book hot. And that's how quick we call it. Get the football and that. Now, some years we're not very good at zone blocking, so we go into a, a gap scheme, too, which we're going to show in a second. Last one. We're running zone to the linemen. They're blocking zone. The tailback is getting the ball opposite. Again, tight to the A gap to the other side, and he bends it back the other way and reads his normal progression of what he does, the scheme. Look up top, the receiver wants the football for bubble, but we don't throw it, all right? We have to do this against some of the teams that we play against, 
and run these type of schemes to get our guys second level. Okay, now this takes us to our one back power. Now we're gonna run on what we call a bench. Bench is power. Bench is one back power for us. So on one back power to the play side, our tackle is going to block that end. The guard is going to block the closest defender to him. If it's a guy outside shade, he's gonna block him out. If there's a guy inside him, him and the center are gonna combo to the backside linebacker. That's simple as that. The guard is gonna pull in a hole. Backside tackle is blocking B gap. Backside tight end is gonna block B gap. And our fullback on book play is gonna block the outside guy, say uh, the first guy off the outside guy's ass. That's it. So I like it because when we run this like this, at one point, it looks like we're running power to the left, but we're not. He's bending it back into that bubble area where it's open and finding the gap. And that's all we're doing right now. Now, the blocking's change with a different front. Oops, I didn't have it right here. If that nose was, oops, if that nose was to the other side, like that, and he's here, he'll block him, he'll block him. The center solos, he pulls in the hole. This guy here has to climb to him. This guy climbs to him. And we're going to set up that block by getting a football here so they come up. And then we bend it back that way. And that's that. It's a real pretty play when we get all the blocking going right here. So here we go. I have a bunch of clips on this one right here. So we're going to go 12 plays right here in our bench book concept right here. Getting the football to the right, bend it to the left. Bend it to the left, get inside, get in the hole. That's it. We want to set up that Mike linebacker's blitz. It sets up this guy all the time. We just want him thinking this way so we can get our blocking and our running back to the next level as easy as possible. We don't start off games with this. We set up full flow, full flow, and then we bend it back. And to the lineman, it's just one back power. We call it bench. So this play would be called bench, uh, bench book cold, cold. That's it. Bench book cold. That's it. Bending it inside. And we get that a lot. Guys going up field, we bend it inside. Get tight. And that's that. Sometimes that play side tackle is going to pin the guy or he's going to fan him out. We have to read that block. All right. Now we do it at a pistol, which I love because we do a lot of RPOs off this. Come on, man. What's going on? All right. Good. Fake, hand it to the right. Bang. Good. Look at that linebacker. Look at that linebacker. We want that. This guy's making plays all game. We're running our inside zone. When we run inside zone, that's what we get. Same side handoff. Now that linebacker comes up, we set it up our blocks. Our line coach loves it because we're setting up the blocks. We get them second level. This is against a good Manasquan football team from years ago. Um, Get him into hole, second level. Second level. Sets up the Mike linebacker. And you got to win out play side, though. Oops. This is St. John Vianney. Love this. Oh, come on. Let's get this one. All right. Under center, under center, it's, it's, under center, it's kind of more convincing that this play is going the opposite way because that quarterback hides the ball. Get straight back, one, two, three, hands the football, and you go and the running back gets to the other side. When you're in pistol, you're showing flow very quickly, but um, it, then but he's maybe but, but given the illusion that we're gonna pass the football out of the gun. As you can see, he's showing full flow. He's going up top and then he bends it back. Bends it back. We get the linebackers not getting the right fills, therefore, to give our running back a chance. We're setting up the blocks. We're getting second. This guy's being blocked. We don't want – if we went full flow around one back power, he probably was coming up making a fill. So we want to show this. This year it was a scrimmage against Friel Township. We wanted to show other teams because we weren't very physical this year. We wanted to show teams that we're going to misdirect right away. We're going to do it. So we wanted to show people in our scrimmages we were doing this. Getting our guy to second level. Second level. That's all we're doing. We're running one back power. But we're doing it a different way. you got to have answers for your run scheme. If it doesn't work, 
because you can't just say we can't run power. One back power. Good. Getting them to second level. All we want. We get a kid to second level, that's great. If a kid takes it 50, that's on him. I can't make plays to get 50 yards. But if our plays could get him to that second level, eight yards, look at that, right up the field. Right up the field. This is awesome. He's got to run tight. He's got to scrape and get real tight, real tight, up the field. There you go. That's it. That's what we want. Usually those backside guys, they try and contain our quarterback because we run waggle a lot. So we're running the ball inside that guy if this guy comes up field. Show flow. That's it. And there are times we actually tell our fullback to get in his waggle path because we, we don't need it because we have an extra blocker with the tight end just to show that we got a guy in the flat. And I want teams to think that, hey, they got to play off it. But that's that. We just want to get the fullback away from the play. So if you're looking at us and you say, oh, the fullback takes you to all the plays, that's totally wrong, especially these concepts we're showing you today. Get it deep. That's it. And that's it. it hasn't been touched. There you go. Has not been touched. Pretty. This is our bread and butter run play. It, it turns out to be because it gets our kids to second level more consistent. That's that. Again, there was a linebacker there, but his angle was different because he saw it from a different, all right? He's going this way. Now he's got to avoid blockers and we get to second level right there. Why did it bounce outside? Because, um, okay, depending on where that hole, in an ideal situation, there's going to be a hole in here. We're either going to fan him out or we're going to fan two guys out. This is going to be the hole. But they're playing football too. So if they squeeze it, we're going to have the outside. We just got to read the hole. And you have time. It's slow playing for the back because he's getting there a little later to see the reaction of the defense. And that's why. Because we got to still win out on play side. We still got to win out on play side. There we go. Like it. That's it. If we hit it too quick, we're not going to get our running back to read it. So they're coming off with that outside backer is coming up. Our guard sees them and kicks them out. And that's what we got. He's playing football. Now the linemen are reacting quick. Our running back has to see the punch of the defense and the offense to see where he's going. Because we want to get our guy into grass. Not just pigeonhole and say run B gap. He's reading the scheme. Right? Guard usually goes back in the hole. Instead he kicks him out to a nice clean pack. And that's that. Again, we're going no huddle, and we change our tempo. We're going different speeds, and we can catch them. So we're running RPOs, doing this. Then we want to run our power, and we want to show flow one way and come back the other way. But everybody else is still blocking what they're called right here, except it's just a quarterback and running back. That's it. So we're going to go bench, book, and we're going to go cold. Everybody's running bench, book. Everybody's running bench, cold, except the quarterback, running back, it just goes you're getting the football to the right side first. That's it. That's it. That's the difference between the book, these two, nobody else. If we went the other way, the ball would be handed on the same side. That's it. That's all it is. Anything would have been book, bench, that's what we do. I got to have words, though, that I say out loud so other teams don't catch on. Again, we don't have a whole – here in AB gap, for whatever reason, it's cloudy. They're pinching, they're drawing on that. All right, play football. Get outside. That's it. That's it. I can't guarantee them what the defense is going to do, but I can only put them in spots to play football. And that's what we do. We want to go fast. That's what we tell them. We, under, we teach them the concepts. We try and get them to point A to point B. But there are times there are different ways to get to our destination. That's what we tell them. Get to the hole. See, they're pinching right now. A lot of teams do like to do that to our weak side. Pinch the guy, right? The guard pulls. There's no hole. And look, he's still beating the guard out there. This is only our book and bench concepts. This isn't our whole run game. And here's a touchdown here. All right, and he bent it out a little bit wide, and he made a real nice play right here with that. He just said, let's get Shore Regional. Okay, now. 
in the beginning of our program, we just said bench bend. And what that did is wherever the fullback was, we told him he had to fill for the inside backer, wherever he was at. So the blocking was still the same. We would go bench bend, our guard pulls in a hole, we double to this guy, and we had the fullback blocking here. So what I wanted here to show ISO at this point, these guys block B gap, this guy's block here, and that's what we did. Okay, in a perfect world, that looks great. But what happens now is in, in a per, not a perfect world, when this guy pulls, this tackle comes out here, we cut him, this fullback chops his feet and stops running, and this guy's not blocked by the full, fullback, but yet we're double teaming him. And I said, why are we doing it this way? All right, but this is what we're, this is our scheme. You're gonna see the same cutback, all that, and this guy here was not really blocked all the time, or we kind of just blocked it this way. So we made adjustments. So you're gonna see these next 16 clips, 18 clips, excuse me, our fullback is blocking straight ahead for the inside linebacker, and we're still bending it, doing this right here with that. The only difference now is that instead of him going here, we just had him going to the middle, uh, middle linebacker, and that's fine. And that's fine. It's still good. The plays are still good, but you can't touch a guy getting cut from a backside tackle because then it's a high low. And we did get caught with that one time. So we did not let our fullbacks go fast. So we changed it. And this is our, our plays from the fast. But if you want to run ISO and bend it back the other way, this would be like an ISO counter. So good. And that's it. So you're going to see our fullback kind of hesitant, but he's responsible for that play side, inside. Anytime I say bend with him in there, whatever side I put him on, he's filling. If I want to run a same side play where he's getting the football and bending it behind a fullback, blocking it like power, he st his rules are the same. So you'll say. So right now, we're going to run bench bend. Fullback goes to the inside linebacker instead of the end. And that's that. So the scheme is still the same to the play side. It's still the same for the lineman. It's just the fullback is blocking the inside linebacker, or that's his path. And as you can see, he can't get to it because it gets cloudy. They pinch through that, and he kind of gets in a hole. But you're going to see these linebackers are going to still fill because that's what he sees. That's what he sees. So he sees fullback running at him some type of down block, and the guy gets the ball to the same side, then we bend it, and that's it. And then we bend it. And that's what we're doing. So in theory, it still works, but we didn't get the fullback going fast. You're gonna see the play right here. This is a high low. This is like a high low. So the fullback kind of hits him the same time that the tackle blocks cuts down. That's a high low, that's no good. That's no good. And that's why we started changing it. Because A, he wasn't going fast, and B, it wasn't safe. It wasn't safe. We weren't getting things done. Right. And we caused a log jam with that. You'll see a better view this way right here. See? There's no room for him. Now, his job is to block him, but we're doubling these two guys to him anyway. So I wanted to show ISO and double him and then really come off it in a perfect world. But we got smart and he blocked him. He would block this way, he would cut, and then we would bend it this way with the guard pulling in a hole. That's how we changed it. But the play still works, and, but that's one of the reasons why I did change it. But that's that. Sorry. And I'm definitely not arguing a call during a scrimmage. If it was, if it was a game, I would be a little different. Full flow, full flow. Now watch this fullback. This fullback has nobody to block. And I hate that when, when, when we say, he's got nobody to block, coach. So then I say, let's run it out of spread. We don't, if we don't need the fullback because there's nobody to block, then run it out of one back and spread them out even farther horizontally. So when we're running this with the fullback, he's running into a middle linebacker. There's no, nobody there. And then we get smarter. Say, okay, if there's nobody there, then, and the play's working, just put them out here, spread them out, or put them here three by, three by one. So whatever, that's, and, and, and we're just talking about backside. 
the back side. The front side is playing one back power. Get in a hole, get in a hole. There you go. And that's that. So a lot of our dialogue was about backside blocking because we wanted to be perfect in what we do. And this is still a good scheme. Attack the inside linebacker. That's his only job right now is the fullback. But we don't, in, we don't in reality get the fullback going 100 miles an hour at, but we just thought that his flow with the running back getting the ball to the same side would, would create different angle, which it does, which it does. Watch that Mike linebacker. Watch that guy. He's telling everybody what to do. He's tapping him on the ass. He's screaming out this hat. He's offset. Watch this play to the, this side. And he's the one that goes the wrong way because his eyes told him to go the other way. And that's it. So we get in there. And look at that. We got him. We got him. We got him. That's that. Tapping on the ass doesn't work. There we go. There we go. That's it. Full flow. Once he gets the football, man, it's, it, it's a great play. Getting him to the next level. Ooh, okay. There we go. Love this play. Love it like this. You get these ends that come upfield. We're fanning them out. You're creating that window for the guard to get in the hole. It's awesome. And I love how our tailback is back seven yards because you want it deep so you can cut it like that. Smooth. We don't want it choppy feet. We want smooth cut. Get downhill. Get downhill. There we go. That's it. This kid here ran a 5-1-40, but he ran for 2,500 yards in his career. Just a physical kid. We want him to get downhill. 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 That's it. Get him to second level. Get him second level. Again. Again. We, we also mess around with him putting him in. In, in um, offset stuff here. I love the sniffer because it really puts them aggressive because it's another guard out there. But full flow. Bang. It looks like it's going to the left. Bend it to the right. I am not going to buy that that action doesn't affect the eyes of a defense. Not the coordinator, but the defense who are looking at the quarterback and running back are changing the eyes of a lot of people on the defense. They are. They are. And all it is is a book play, or bench play. Bench. Get it to them to the one side, bend the other. They hear bench, oh, excuse me, they hear book or uh, bend, they know it goes opposite. Opposite the play. That's it. Everybody else has their rule base. A couple more. Oh, I bet. Oh, that's the same one. Sorry. All right. Here we go. All right, full flow. Here's the kid that went to Penn State for us. He played all different positions for us. We're showing a tight end, a fullback to the one side. He's getting the football to the left, and he bends it back up top. I love it when they have that rush end or outside backer going upfield. Just creates a better alley. Creates a better alley. Get him upfield. Get him upfield. And they knew he was getting the football. You don't put a kid like that in the backfield and say, um, you're going to block for us. No. So everybody, look at the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dudes up there. And we want to show them here. And look how they all get pinned over. Now, this is a good Lake Joaquin. They went to the state semis this year. They're going to be falling down. Look at all that. Look at that mess. Because we're showing full flow. We're down blocking. We're put and there we go. Dominoes, we call it. Just get him to second level. Get him to second level, and that's all we want. And that's with a loaded box. Good. Get him to second level. Can't get a good hit on a tailback when you run this play right. Especially if you, were, you can consistently run the football to the side the fullback's at. So if the fullback's here, we're going to run our inside zone lead. We're going to run power. We're going to do all that stuff. Let people create tendencies on us, and then we're going to cut it back. We love the fact that people say we don't have a lot of tendencies because what we do away from our fullback, but still run power football the other way. Get him in there. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. That's it. Every tailback would love a play if they know they're not going to get hit solid for at least four or five yards. Good. 
there are some games we've run this 14, 15 times. So if you're going to run one back power, why not run it this way too? Oh, shoot, 10 minutes? Damn. All right, let me get to the next game. Good. Oh, let me get to the next one. Where are we? All right, I want to show you a off of our fly action and then also draw, we ran it too. So we're gonna, oh, 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 not this one. All right, we're gonna fake jet sweep and everybody else is running our one back power to the right and our quarterback and our tailback are going to be going on our bench, our bend play. Our quarterback's easy. He just silhouettes the, the way of the uh, motion. So it just is or it's just easy for him to remember, go straight back. Fake it, go straight back, straight back, and the football, and that's it. That's it. Little wing T ish stuff. Now we're going to run this also out of a draw action. So all, all of this is the same. Our tailback just kicks, slides to the right, waits for the quarterback, and then gets in the hole. That's it. Sets up the play. Pass. Boom. Get in the hole. That's it. That's our bend play. All right. Now, we are going to be running same side. So if the fullback is to the right and I just say bend, he knows he's in the hole blocking the inside linebacker to his side. So it's, this, this is our power. We're running power to the bottom, and then we're going to hand the ball off to the right and bend it back to the left with that. So you can run any skin you want to the play side and just vary it up with the tailback going opposite. One back power, uh, excuse me, two back power. Pit in the hole, there we go. So we're not showing full flow to the, to the side of it. We're getting it the same rule. Bend it back. Bend it back. Power. Power. This is two back power. There we go. One more of this. All right. We're going to run power up top. Power up top, get him the football to the left, bend it. There you go. There you go. That's it. <coughs> we do a lot of misdirections. I don't have a lot of cutups with that. Now we're just going to run one back power. Now it's not going to be him blocking the end. He's blocking the inside linebacker. We're just getting an extra kind of hole. We said we're wasting him going backside. There, let's just get him in the hole, get the guard in the hole, and get an extra blocker in the hole. Let the tailback just take – the action of the defense away. And that's it. We got smart. So you know what? If that fullback's not blocking anybody, let's just put him to the same side and get an extra guy in the hole. Let's get him in the hole. And that's it. Like Coach Rusillo would always say, absorb. Absorb the, um, the extra guy. All right. Just get him in the hole. That's it. This is the last one. Then I got a counter tray. All right, we're going to go counter tray, but we do it out of a guard H back. Guard H back. We have RPOs. We do pre snap, post snap. We could read this guy and throw it here, but that's not this scheme, what we're going to be talking about during this call. We're on our counter tray. Um, simple rules, the same as you guys do on your scissor play down, down, kick out, full back in the hole. Bend it one way, going the other way. Let's just show that, and another time we'll just talk about details. Two pull, guard and H back. Bend it. Get him in a hole. That's it. Now, if you want to RPO it, we can read this guy on a post snap. So while he's here and we're reading it, we would change his footwork. We're going to run a slant. So if he slides with the, with the lineman, we're going to pop it with a slant. That's another segment of stuff that we'll talk about another time. But right now we're doing pre-snap type stuff. But we're running our, it's, we call it hammer. We're getting the football one side and bending it the other way. All right. This. All right. Little fly action. And get him in a hole. And that's it. It's actually a good view of stuff. You go full, full, full. So we tell on the fly, we tell the quarterback, don't fake it. Let the, let the guy go in motion, fake it. You just kick back and hand the football off and let them go with the fake of the, of the receiver. 
I don't want the ball flashing all over the place. We're not a big counter trade team. We're not. But we do run it. We do run it. And we should probably run it more. You know, some people counter step the tailback. Instead of teaching that counter step, we just go be, uh, or bend, bend off it because our quarterback and tailback know that uh, technique and it's easier just to install. So we just tell them on um, bend, you know, once you get the football, now you just got to follow your blocks, whatever the scheme is. That's it. Instead of teaching a different step for a play that you're not going to run a lot. We don't run it a lot. Get it, bend it, bend it. That's it. Here, there. The best part is looking at the eyes of the linebackers. You know, they're not going to be in as good as run fit as if you went full flow and ran it. They just will not, will not. Again. If the kids get a bigger yardage, it's on them. I can't, get, I can't create plays getting to third level. Um, but second level is something that we gun for. Second level is a play, you know, six to ten yards. That's what we want to do. I think this is a little less. That's it. Again, it's only a six, seven-yard play. And we're trying to affect somebody. This guy right here is not full flow in it. He kind of gets hesitant, and we get to block him. We get to block him. And, again, you got to win out your front side play, though. We block him. That's it. That's what we want. That's what we want. All right, good. Let's see my next one. Um, well, I'll show you this. In terms of terminology, um, my me saying book, um, that means that the H-back is blocking the end. Um, we're running one back power in here. This is a pre-snap RPO thing. Um, we played against Manasquan team that we have to have answers when we play teams like a Manasquan or Lacey. Gotta ha can't just say the ball's going here. We have to have the grass occupied with, with, with options in our program. So we're running an RPO. He's running a hitch, slant, or fade, predetermined. He's going to swing because we're going to shovel pass it. These guys are supposed to run one back power where the guard is in the hole right here, but the guard didn't pull. All right? Our fullback blocks the end and allows these guys to block for the pulling guy right there. And our this guy here is coming underneath, and we're going to shovel it to him, and he's supposed to run into the end zone. Well, that's what the play is supposed to look like. But it didn't happen that way. But our blocking didn't. But that's what we're doing. So we would get on the ball, and we would go, um, we would go bench book, but I would tag it as joker, joker. Joker means that we're shoveling the football to our J wide receiver. So we just go bench book hot, joker, joker. And it tells the J, he shortens up, he's shoveling it to him, and he, on Joker, he swings to create with, with this play. We want to get these guys wide, so we come underneath and run the shovel that way. Quarterback gets it, and if he's shoveling it, he takes one step to him and just underneath it shovels it. That's simple. We don't run the Tim Tebow crap for that. Now, pre-snap, if he likes this, he aborts this whole thing, he kicks back one step and throws the football. That's it. And I'm just showing you this because in our terminology, we said book, and it's bench book. So, but we don't have a guard pulling. But we did make a play out of this. Kicks back, throws it. So we just didn't call throwing the, the hitch. We built it in with our pre-snap pre RPO. So everybody's blocking for the, the, the shovel. That guy's expecting the ball to shovel. We, this guard here, you see, pulls, and he doesn't make a good thing right here. But thank God we didn't do this, and then we throw it, and then we throw the ball with that. So um, made a nice throw with that. 
kickback throw, kickback throw. That's it. That's it. He fumbled it at the one. 